Hello and welcome! If you are serious about aiming and building your muscle memory, you want to be sure that all your games have exactly the same sensitivity and you may also want to have the same sensitivity for different scopes and zoom levels. Then you will need to move your mouse the same distance to hit the target no matter what scopes you use like red dot or the sniper scope. Normally you can measure how far you move your mouse on the table, but it could be time consuming. And you can also use any online calculator, but I found that different calculators could show you different results. So here's a tool that helps you to do it much easier and precise. It's called Shred Mouse Meter and it's available in Microsoft Store for free. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Here we choose our device and click Start button for tracking our mouse offset by X and Y axis. And we can click Reset to set it to zero. When you measure the distance in one game, you click Save to the memory to have a visual reference when you switch to another game. You can also lock the memory in case you accidentally click Save button again. And now let's jump to the Call of Duty and see how we can use this tool. The first thing that we need to do is to go to the options and the graphics settings and change our display mode to the full screen borderless. Normally your sensitivity is different when you change your field of view, but what I found that in Call of Duty it actually doesn't work this way. As you can see I have the field of view of 105 and I start measuring the 360 and I got this value. So I save this value and I change to something else, let's say 60. And now let's repeat. As you can see, we got exactly the same value. So let's jump for a second to the PUBG and see how it works here. I have the field of view 103 and we got some value. And then I change it for example to the 80. As you can see we got different result. Let's back to Call of Duty and now Instead of doing 360, I reset the position and I move my mouse exactly to this corner and I save this value. And now I can switch to my another scope and you can see it. I will get pretty much the similar value. In Call of Duty, you have this option by default, I guess it's one. So let's bring it back and we can try it again. So I reposition again, reset and check the distance. Okay, now I switch to another scope and, and let's see what we get now. Yeah, it's pretty much different. You can see by changing this value I got closer result to what I need. And that's how I found that 1.8 works best for me. So you may need to find your own value or maybe it will work exactly the same for you. And now let's jump to the PUBG and test different scopes.
In PUBG, you can't really set the precise sensitivity in a game menu settings. So I will just try to find as close value as I can. And as you can see, I already set the different values for different scopes and let's just test it out. Now we need to find some reference and we align this door to the edge of the screen, reset and okay, we got some value and let's try to change and see what we'll get. Reset and try it again. Okay, it's way too much. Let's try 37. And now it looks much better. Let's jump to the ADS. Reset. 1576. All right, this is too small. So I guess 36 was the best. And now you repeat the same step for every scope. Now we're all set and let's see how it works in Valorant. First we need to go to the settings and change the display mode to window full screen and click apply. And let's align to this pole. You can see it's pretty much the same. And let me try to change it to something else. And we can see that now, yeah, it's pretty much slow. And now I try to find the right one. And now we're all set. Thanks everybody for watching and let me know in the comments if you try this tool and how does it work for you. The link I will post in the description and stay tuned. See you in the next videos.